Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, let me know what videos you guys want to see in the comment section down below. Today, we're out on the Savannah River. We got back in Savannah. You know, we took a trip to Atlanta, got to see the family, got to get the RV wrapped, which was awesome. But I actually have a special guest on today's video. I don't know if you guys even remember this man. Hey, why are you over there, bro? Come here. Look at this man. Look at this dude. What's going on, bro? Let's go. I was just uh, actually getting some sun, bro. I've been cold. I'm, just, you know, down in South America, it's so hot out there. So, how, super nice weather today. Tell them what it gets to in, in South America. Oh, it's mainly 110 degrees, bro. Like 90 to 100 year round. So when it's like 70 out here, it's a little, it's, it's a little, little nipply, chilly, yeah. little nipply yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. It's good to have you I back, know. Alan Bob. It's, it's good, good to be back, bro. I Thank know. You. It feels good. But uh, yeah, hashtag Alan Bob. Bring Alan Bob back in the comment section down below. Um, we have some videos of Big Steve dropping as well, so you guys are gonna enjoy that. So here's the big rig. She's looking sharp too. Big shout out to Chance. He he detailed the truck while I was gone. Big thanks to Chance. Got her looking all tight. Then we got this baby right here. Oh yeah, she's looking good, ain't she, Alan Bob? Oh, yeah. She's looking sharp got her today. Clean. Good. Yeah, got her all cleaned ready up and ready to go. yeah, we got her all ready. And then we got a bunch of tackle in here. We finally got that organized, which just feels great. Big shout out to Alan for for helping me out with that. Thank uh -huh. you, buddy. I appreciate that. Let's I'm gonna have to show you guys the inside of the boat when we get to our first spot. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is just back this boat in the water, get her out here, try to find some fish today. We're kind of on a time crunch. I could, I did not get to sleep until like four or five a.m. this morning. I don't know why, but I just could not sleep last night. Took a pre-workout. I'm getting back in the gym. Me and Alan Bob getting back in the gym. We're oh, about yeah, to hit bro. it hard. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get, get them these gains, gains bro. bro. We gotta get these gains. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and back this boat in the water. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's hop right into it. Alrighty. Oh yeah. It is time to get it kicking off today. Yeah, yeah. I'm just ready to get back on the river, boys. I'm hoping they're biting. You know, we went on the river the last few weeks and then all of a sudden the river flooded again. And it's been out of order for about a month. And now the river's dropping again. So I think we're gonna get on really good. It feels good to get Alan Bob back on the boat too. I haven't seen Alan Bob in a very long time and it just feels good. Alan Bob's a good guy, man. Feels good to get him on the channel and get him on some bass he's used to catching those big peacocks but we got to get him on a big largey today that's the goal all righty oh. run bob come on run bob hurry run jump oh oh you ready let's get, let's get it dude Just got to our first spot. It's a beautiful day. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, it's probably about 70 degrees right now. Bluebird skies. The wind is up a little bit, which I'm not a big fan of when I'm recording, but that can help out the bite. But on the river, not so much. If you're on lakes, that wind is your friend. But on the river, you don't really need much wind. Um, we're gonna start fishing around some of these willow trees and see if there's still some bass up on bed because I think we can catch some really good ones today. This is what we were doing about three weeks ago. I assume it's gonna be around the same pattern. The only thing that I noticed today from the last few weeks that we were coming out is that today the water is a little bit higher. It's probably about two or three foot higher than it was when I was coming out before. So we're gonna tie some baits on our rods, start throwing around these willow trees, skipping our baits way back up there. And uh, I really think we have a chance to catch a big one today. So let's get it, Bob. Let's get it, Bob. <gasps> Dude, I had him already. He ate it like a dang topwater, dude. It was my second cast. Hold up. It looked so good. Uh-oh. He should eat it again, dude. Got tangled up in that branch. 
Oh man, let's see. I think he's gonna eat it. I'm just gonna let it sit. Like not even twitch it. Might think he killed it. Come on, there's no way. He's not gonna eat it again. That's crazy. Dude, he like slammed it like right off the bat, just like a top water. <laughs> That's giving me. That yeah, dude. I, I was like, I was like thinking about. It. I was like, dude, this looks so good. Watch me catch one on like one of my first casts, and then he just slammed it. Dude, the water's so clear too, Alan. Like I haven't seen river water this clear in a minute. Broke me off. It's like a four pounder, dude. I saw his head. There should be some more up there, Alan. That's where they're at. They're like up in that. Yeah, I don't know, man. That was a little sus. It could have been a mud. It looked like a dang big bass, though. But. Oh, dude, that's a huge one. Big boy. Let's go, Bob. Let's keep moving. Look, see the bait fish. One more cast. Man. So they're just, yeah, they're so far back that, that you can't. See, if they were on the edge, we would have seen one eat it. Can't be wasting time on that. Let's get to our next spot. So I'm actually tying on a little Texas rig. I feel like I can't, I know I was talked about it at the beginning about throwing a moving bait, but we're on a time crunch and we just got to get to work. So whatever it takes to catch some fish, we're going to be doing. So I got a little, this is actually a four eye extra wide gap with a one fourth ounce bullet weight. Tying her up and we're going to put a rage crawl on here because the rage crawls smoke them out here. This is a black and blue swirl, a little dark color probably get away with like a lighter color today i thought this water so clean too but that's why i usually catch them on so we'll throw this one boom just like that oh oh it came off dude go under gosh they're just not eating it right they're not eating it right He's up right where he should have been. It's right there. Should eat it again. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's best. He was up there. He's a fat dude too, buddy. Look at that. What a way to start. There we go, guys. Finally got the monkey off her back, didn't we, Bob? We've been trying for a minute. He bit it before I threw that cast right back in and he finally got it. That is a chunky fat dude, bro. See how fat that guy is? That's nice. Not a big one by any means, but he is a thick little guy. Stuffed up way shallow. Thank you, bud. First fish, first fish today. Now we just gotta keep the ball rolling. I know there's more back here. I hooked up pollen. One pollen. One pollen a day keeps the doctor away. <clears throat> you got him? Oh, dude. Bob! Yeah, I don't know what that was. Bob! God. I don't know what that was. It was a fish, though, right? I, I felt it, like, pull back on it. I might have to, like, slow down and... Is he hung? Yeah, he stopped. Snapped you right off, Bubba. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Oh! Was that a bass? Bad, bro! Oh! 
my Dude, that God. was a big one, Alan. Look, look how, how big is he? At least a three pounder, isn't yeah, that looks like a three pound. I was just about to say that. Oh. Let's see if he jumps again. How'd you break him off? What? Dude, that's like a freaking <laughs> five pounder, Alan. Oh. Holy cow. Dude, did you see that fish, bro? That's every bit of four and a half to five pounds. You saw this whole body yeah, right there. That. That's a giant, bro. That's seriously a toad. That's a tank right there, dude. That's one of the biggest river bass I've seen in a minute. Oh my God. Uh oh, I got one. Yeah. <laughs> it came off. They're, they're eating it weird, dude. They might be on bed on the... Yeah. I never felt him like ticket. That's why I load up and you can see my line there. Dang, Alan. Damn, he was a big one. Yeah. What in the world? Look. Teeth marks all over it. Yeah. How'd he hit it the first time? Just super subtle. He picked it up. I felt like super, like, like super yeah. light. Dude. Is that him jumping again? I think if we fish this good, we could. You got another one running with you. Hey, reel up your slack. Big one? Oh, it's a good one. That's a nice one. Good job, Alan. Redeem yourself, buddy. Redeem yourself. That's a two pounder. Oh, let's go, bro. <laughs> On the backlash. <laughs> That's a redeem myself, guys. I like literally switched up to a green pumpkin. We've been fishing the whole morning with like black and blue and I said, hey, we got to switch it up, you know. Second cast, had like a five pounder break me off, right, guys. That was insane. Took another one, retied. Boom. Second cast. There you go, buddy. Let's go. There you go. Hey. We'll get some more. All right. Thanks, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Good yeah. job, Bob. No, it was a big one, dude. I saw them. Why are they eating it like that, Alan? Dude, we are on the freaking toads, bro. We just gotta catch them. Yeah. I stuck them too. God, they're not eating it all the way. No. They're moving it off their bed. That's exactly what they're doing. And then they're spitting it. Yep. You got him? Is he big? Oh, it's a good one, dude. Nice, Alan. Good fish, buddy. It's a real good one. Get him up here. It's a good one. <laughs> Let's go. Alan's over here smoking him. Nice. Good job, buddy. I'm getting somewhere. I'm missing a lot of fish, but we're getting somewhere. It's so hard getting these fish. What in the world? Is that a bass? It is. Yeah, that's a dang good one, bro. I was just about to say they're not on this deep bank. I don't know why we're fishing it. And then all of a sudden you hook one. It's a good one too. They're all freaking decent fish. Look at that one. Oh, get him, Bob. Run, Bob. Get him, Bob, Bob. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh my God, that's the biggest thing I've ever, that is the biggest gator I've ever seen in my life. Did you see how wide his head was? Oh my God. See, he's a nice guy. Uh, back home, they ain't nice, bro. Really? Look at this caterpillar. Hey, watch him bite the schmass out of me. What do I do, dude? I don't want to put him in the water. Ah, whoo! He did <laughs> bite me. Bite me? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like a, a bite, but listen, I was trying to be nice to him. Now he's just going to be squirming. Big old bass going to get him. Good skip, you should get one. Yeah. You got him too. Get him, boy. Dude. Oh, that would have been a double. This is a good one, too, bro. Look how fat he is. Chunk, dude. 
You had them too, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. That would have been a double up. So to give you guys a little update, we're hitting the last spot of the day. And I told Alan just a couple seconds ago, I was like, dude, let's just give it our all. Last 30 minutes of the day, let's see what we can put together. And just fish hard, fish strong, fish smart. And we almost had a double up right there. I caught this thick, chunky dude. That's a fact. Dude, look at that hole through his fin. You see that? That's crazy. A pretty fish. Pretty one right there. I've had a tough day. We both had a tough day just losing some good fish. And, uh, you know, I missed one that hooked. I saw the side of him. It looked like he's about four pounds. And Alan broke off that toad earlier. But um, let's see if we can put together some. We have about 30 more min minutes left in the day. Just remember, never give up. Keep your head down. And we could have had two fish right there. So let's just keep hunting, see what we can put together. I mean, this looks like a, such a good bank, Alan. You get it. That's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, gosh, it's a giant. Yeah, it's five pounder. Looks like. Get him in that net. Get him in that net, Alan. Mm. That's the one that we need. Dude. It's a four pounder. Let's go, bro. <laughs> I know what to get. Like a camera or the net. Ah, oh, gosh. There we go, guys. That's the one that we need today. <laughs> that is. We have been fishing so hard. We said we got 30 minutes. This is why you never give up right here. Me and Alan are about to waylay into a few good ones. He ate it like a top water too. He ate that curl just right at the top, which kind of plays back on one of the tip videos I posted these past couple of weeks. If you guys haven't checked that one out, go check it out. I was talking about how reeling the rage curl on top of the water, then you have the biggest fish of the day come up and eat it. I had one about this size, you know, come off. And then Alan had one bigger than this that came off, but that's a, that's a freaking good river bass right there and this bank was looking so saucy like i was talking about where you have the willow trees on the bank but the where you can cast up on the shore not the flooded banks that are going way back there because the fish are so far that you can't get to them so you got to find the banks that you can cast at and that's what it gets you right there is a good old river bass we have a little bit of time so we got to try to catch another big one we've had a few opportunities today if we could have caught all the big fish that we missed alan we could have had a dang good bag buddy but, you know, that's fishing, and we're going to give it our all in these last 20 minutes that we have. There he goes. <gasps> Look at that boil, dude. Look at that boil. He stole it off, and I, and I stuck him. Yeah, I stuck him. Look. Dude, that was a monster. You stick him? Aye, aye, aye. He's got it. That's a male, dude. Yeah. That's why I knew that female bit me, I think. But keep pitching up there. There's a big one up there, I'm telling you. That one I had at first, that was the female. I, yeah. She might bite, though. There we go, guys. Getting on some fat, chunky guys. God, look how fat that fish is, Alan. <laughs> That's a fat dude. Thank you, bud. Get him more. Get him more. Biggin. That's a good one. Nice. Good job, bud. Good job, bud. Look at this. Alan Bob with the last minute clutches. We're coming together here, boy. We're bringing it together. All it took was us to zone in, bro. I was yawning earlier. I was getting tired. This is why you don't stay up till five in the morning when you're going fishing in the morning. Dude, look how fat this fish is. I just keep like going over a tree branch. Look, I got it. Just. All right. Over the tree branch, dude. That's what keeps messing me up. Dude, let's, let's keep it rolling, bro. We gotta move. <laughs> keep going, bro. All right, bro, we gotta call it. Mm. I can, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with today though. You said we're gonna put our heads down and go, and we did, so. Cannot be mad at that, bro.